Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to withdraw your Bitcoin from your Coinbase account and store it in your own wallet. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on my Coinbase account and I have a balance in my Bitcoin wallet in Coinbase. So a lot of people are buying Bitcoin for the first time on Coinbase. It's a great platform for buying Bitcoin, very easy to use. But it's better to store your own Bitcoin in your own wallet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so today I'm going to be using a Ledger Nano X. Now the instructions for this will be the same for the older model, the Ledger Nano S. So if you have a Ledger Nano S, you can follow the same instructions. All right, once we've entered the pin on our Ledger device and connected it to our computer with our cable, uh, we're going to be at the home screen of the device. Now, I'm going to withdraw Bitcoin from my Coinbase account, so I need to be in the Bitcoin app on my device. So I'm just going to hit both buttons here. You see it's got Bitcoin highlighted, so we'll hit both buttons. And now we're in the Bitcoin app. Once you enter the Bitcoin app, you should see application is ready on the screen of your device. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Ledger Live and I'm going to go to my Bitcoin account. Now you can see all of my accounts here in my Ledger Live interface. If you haven't set up Ledger Live yet, I've got some great videos on how to do that. If you look up in the corner of this video, I've got some links that'll take you to my setup videos. So we're just gonna hit the Bitcoin account here and we're gonna do receive. All right, so we're gonna hit receive. All right, and then this is what's gonna pop up. Now we'll hit continue again. Notice here that it tells you that you need to have the device connected and you need to be in the Bitcoin app. And we've already done those two steps. So I've got the two check marks. If you don't get a check mark, if you get a spinning wheel, then you'll know that you have uh, not done the steps on the device. Let's hit continue. Now we're going to verify the address. This is a fail safe. We'll hit continue here. Now you'll notice when I hit that, that the address shows up on my screen and then it also shows up on the device. So the device is showing me the Bitcoin receiving address and I want to confirm that. So you see there's a tiny little arrow here on the side. It's indicating that it wants me to hit this button. And now I've got the approve. Now I could reject, but I don't want to do that. So I'll just navigate back to approve. Once I'm on top of approve, I'm going to hit both buttons. All right. So that means that I've confirmed the address. All right, now that we've done that, we have all the information that we need to give to Coinbase to withdraw our Bitcoin. So I'm going to copy this address into my clipboard. I'm going to go back over to my Coinbase account. I'm going to go to Portfolio here at the top, and I'm going to go over here to Bitcoin. That's where I want to withdraw my Bitcoin. So now that I've hit Bitcoin, I want to do a send, right? I'm going to send the Bitcoin that I bought on Coinbase to my own wallet. So I'm going to hit send and it wants a BTC address. Well, we just copied one into our clipboard. So I'm going to hit paste. And how much do I want to send? Well, let's go down here to the edit field where it says amount. I'll just click in there and you'll notice that that send max button appears. In this case, I'm going to send all of the Bitcoin that I have in this account you can decide how much you want to send. I recommend sending it all. Why not store it in a safe place, right? Coinbase is a safe place to store your Bitcoin, but ultimately you don't really own the Bitcoin until you hold it in your own wallet where you control the private keys. So I'm going to hit send max here. I'm going to hit continue. And now I need to enter my two-factor authentication. So my two-factor authentication is in my Google Authenticator. So I have my Google Authenticator here. I'll just tap that and open it up. I have several codes in here. I want to use my Coinbase code. And you can see I've got my Coinbase code there. So I'm going to wait until it refreshes. So I have plenty of time. 
All right, 106383. And then I'll hit confirm. And boom, my transaction is on its way. Pretty simple. As you can see, my Bitcoin balance went to zero on Coinbase. Now all we need to do is just go over here and wait for it to come into our own wallet. All right, and I just hit this little synchronize up here that gave me a synchronize. And there's the money that came from Coinbase in my own wallet, safe and sound. Didn't take very long. Whenever you buy Bitcoin on Coinbase and you're just planning on holding it, you're not a big trader, it's a good idea to store it in your own wallet. So make that a normal practice. When you buy a little Bitcoin, just move it into your own wallet and keep it safe and sound. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered right there on the fly. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.